Nagpapasimula po itong second quarter at ang Hinebra San Miguel ang abante ng tatlong puntos. Samantala, hinti sa tira ni Sean Chambers. Another offensive rebound. Pochwinho, one fake. He goes up. Yes, good strong move. Mula kay Pochwinho. Yes, and weak side rebounding help by Pochwinho. Nakita natin in that situation, both the tall men of Hinebra San Miguel towards the strong side. Kanya napapabaya nila yung weak side rebounding help ng Alaska. Natapis ang abante ng Hinebra sa isa. At muli nakikita natin yung kahinaan ng Hinebra sa rebounding Something that is very uncommon considering na uh, unusual Considering na uh, dalawa-dalawa yung tore na nandyan Totoo yan, walang masyadong balance sa rebounding positioning ng uh, Hinebra San Miguel And Fred Cofield again, shooting very well from the outside Mainit ang kamay ni Fred Cofield already with 12 points He averages only 23 per ball game So he is very close to his average this early Samantala si Sean Chambers, na double team at tumama sa... Paani, Sean Chambers. Well, Chambers, of course, is not supposed to handle the basketball. Alright, meron po tayong uh, report mula kay Butch Maniego. Butch? Maraming salamat, Nolly. Umpisa ng uh, laro, concern ng Hinebra sa scoring na ginagawa sa loob ng Alaska. All that Sonny Jaworski asked from his players is mag-usap kayo, mag-communicate kayo. And so far, natulungan nilang ma-shutdown ang inside game ng Alaska. Balik sa inyo. Salamat, Butch. At uh, yan, kinito siguro ang talaga magiging uh, ikang uh, focus ng San Hinebra San Miguel as we take a look at Coach Sonny Jaworski dito sa first half. Partner kanina, there was a big mismatch. DJ File, Johnny Abarientos. But File did not shoot over Johnny and try to put the ball on the floor. And once that happens, Johnny Abarientos will pick your pocket. Si Abarientos ngayon ang kinukuha niya, si Vince Heason. Locks in, laban kid. Jojo Lastimosa, ang hirap na tira yun. Binitin sila sa ibabaw. And good defense mula kay Jolas. Yes, and only one attempt there for Hinebra San Miguel. Under 10 minutes remaining. Partner na magit mo ito si Fred Pofit already with 12 points very early in this game. As a thinking ko, this is a player who will use his playoff experience as an NBA player. Mochwinio again getting inside position. He will get two points plus the bonus. At si Pochwinio ang gumagawa ng puntos. Wrecking havoc underneath the former fifth pick overall back in 1994. Nakakuha ng foul laban kay EJ File at siya pupunta sa free throw line for a possible three-point play. Well, in that free play, nakita natin yung mobility ni Poch Winyo at hindi nakareact yung defensive position ni EJ File. Poch Winyo simply curled away from the defense of EJ File and got the shot on the reverse. Yan ang ating... Um, Commissioner ngayon at ang ating past Commissioner Leo Prieto and of course Commissioner June Bernardino. Yes, and Commissioner Prieto, so nice to see him back here at the Astrodome enjoying the basketball games. Three-point shot off Chambers ang medala ng bola. 9.20 remaining. Abarientos labat kay Cofield. Bounce pass. Good ball movement. And Alaska in transition is deadly as ever. Yes, at hindi nakakareact yung defense ng Hinebra San Miguel once Alaska plays high gear, high octane transition. Mahihira pa lang Hinebra because they do not have the quickness to get back quickly on defense. Naagaw ng uh, Alaska Milk ang abante laban sa Hinebra San Miguel. Chambers finding tooth and nail. Kita mo naman yung uh, dampulan dun sa floor. Ito na naman ang running attack ng uh, Alaska. What a pass coming from Jari Abarientos. Again a transition basket. At uh, sabi ni Coach Tim Cohn, wala yes. foul. Sabi naman ni Sean Chambers, Coach, hindi na kailangan. Mamaya na. <laughs> Apat po ang abante ng Alaska Milk on off eight running attack. At yan ang nakikita nating kakulangan ng Hinebra San Miguel. Exactly. Kilito. Big uh, statistic there in favor of Alaska. Eight offensive rebounds and not a single one for Hinebra San Miguel. Sumapit si Sean Chambers sa pagkatira ni Marlo Aquino. Pangalawa na yan ni Sean Chambers. Ano pala isipan niya kung ano ay uhugutin o hindi. But Sean Chambers obviously knows how to play in the PBA. Alam niya na kailangan siya. May technical foul at tinawag ka Sean Chambers. Kinito? Okay. Ito yung isang sequence where you will see no offensive rebounding positioning by Hinebra San Miguel. Ano? Ito yung foul muna. Ah, ito yung foul. Yes, ito yung foul okay. kanina. Okay. Ito yung foul ni Marlo Aquino. Tapos may technical na itinawag. Okay. And Vince Hezon taking the shot. A technical foul called on Alaska. At natapyas ang alabante ng Alaska sa tatlo. Coach Tim Cohn. Pumihingi pa rin ng uh, explanation kung ano nangyari doon. 
At si Marlo Aquino ang pupunta sa free throw line. Kaya ang nabanggit natin si Sean Chambers with two personal fouls. EJ File. They're in their front court. Ang pwede tumasok yung first uh, free throw. Jerry Barisano, ang uh, basketball promotions manager ng FILA. Katabi niya si Lea Power, ang assistant manager ng FILA. Enjoying this ball game. And what a game it, it has so far been, Kinito. Yes. Marlo Aquino missing two free throws. Uh, the championship series is very important to make sure that your free throws make it. So, nananatili pong tatlo ang abante ng Alaska Milk. At ang oras dito sa second quarter, 8-12. Chambers, muli nasa labas, nasa perimeter. Laban kay Marlo Aquino. Papasok sa loob, pinangga si Aquino. And that's his fourth kill. Uh, Ditikit niya yung katawan niya, tapos angat. And you notice, ito si Sean Chambers. Medyo nilalapit na lang nilalapit niya ang sarili niya now to uh, the basket in going against the defense of Marlo Aquino. Kanina, he was taking too many shots from outside, outside of his range. Just puntos na si Sean Chambers. Bagal siyang nagpasimula, but he's beginning to pick up his scoring. Ganda ng galaw! Nakalusot! Boom! Maw! Lumabas! Nakala ko, papasok na eh. Again, nagkaroon ng mismatch. Nolly locks in on Jojo Lastimosa. Pero mabilis din na pumasok yung help defense ng Alaska. And Lastimosa will pick up foul number one. Sunny Jaworski patuloy na bumabato ng instructions sa kanya mga players. At si Coach Tim Condin sinisingita ng konting pasabi si Jojo Lastimosa. Now, ito si uh, Fred Cofield must take the lead in the role for the members of the game on the floor. Siya nagkadala ng bola. He is the one dictating the plays for Coach Robert Jaworski's squad. Another miss mula sa free throw line para sa Hinebra San Miguel. Ang Hinebra, noong uh, semi-final round, also suffered a lot mula sa free throw line. Ito si Noni Loxin makes one out of two lamang upang maitapyas ang abante ng Alaska sa apat na puntos, 29-25. 7.35 remaining dito sa ating second quarter. Partner EJ File now sitting down. Wilmer Ong, another wide body, another big man for Hinebra San Miguel on the floor. Ang gustong balance si Coach Robert Jowers yung kanyang big lineup because uh, nahihirapan nga sila sa rebounding because of the gang rebounding style ng Alaska. He's on a double team ni Hawkins. Noli Loxin, pumihit, bumalik sa fall away. Yes! And the lead is down to two. Cariaso. Pinigay kay Hawkins. Hawkins ngayon laban kay Marlo Aquino. Jump shot mula sa labas na naman. And si Bob Hawkins getting a basket. That will be his sixth point. Well, definitely. The offensive players of Alaska. Pinapahirapan nito si Marlo Aquino. Kanina, ang bantay niya si Sean Chambers. Ngayon naman si Bob Hawkins. And whoever is the man being guarded by uh, Marlo Aquino, I think has the green light coming from Coach Tim Cohn to attack the basket. Legal defense. Alam mo, some point in this ball game, obviously, Kinito, makikita natin na uh, itong Alaska Milk will obviously have to go down sa low post at babalik sa kanilang lalaro. Ang importante siguro dito, hindi masyadong, uh, as we take a look at the points in the paint, yan ang nakikita nga natin. Ang importante siguro dito, hindi mabulabog ang bawat kupunan as to the adjustments that they will be making. Ano? Totoo yan. Well, again, an outside shot coming from Hinebras and Miguel. Di ko nga maintindihan why they are not executing their plays to get Marlo Aquino touches from low post. Again, mobility coming from Alaska. Pwede natin sabihin, parang transition basket na yun. And coming from medium range. Once unang, more. Unang dalawang puntos ni Jeffrey Cariaso. At nadagdagan niya ang abante ng Alaska Milk sa anim na puntos na po. 33-27. Marlo Aquino, isang galaw sa loob. Sidestep, wala. Offensive rebound. Natapik mula sa kamay ni Will Marong. Johnny Abarientos ngayon. Abarientos pa rin. Binigay kay Chris Polado and he loses the leather. But there will be a foul against, let's see. So far, dictating uh, ang Alaska ng tempo. And there will be a foul on Marlo Aquino in that transition attack by Alaska. Every opportunity from Alaska will get to run, they will run. At si Sunny Jaworski, hindi maintindihan yung tawag na yun. Anin po ang abante ng Alaska? May time on time. 
Ang Alaska Milk nagtatangkang kumalas dito sa mula sa Ginebra San Miguel. They're on top right now by six. Saradong anin na minuto po na lalabi sa ating second quarter. Partner field goal uh, shooting so far here in the second period. Alaska 7 out of 10, 70 percent. At ang Ginebra naman, uh, only 2 out of 6. And most of those shots of Alaska coming from inside the paint off transition. Chris Polado, mintis ang kanyang unang free throw. Partner, may malaking dilemma dito si Coach Robert Jaworski. You know? uh -huh. He's sticking, of course, with a lineup that has size. Pero hindi naman sila makababa to stop the transition attack of Alaska. But he needs the size to make sure that they control the rebounds. Kanyang yun ang dilemma niya, no? Would he play a small or a big lineup? So far, he's gambling still on a big lineup because kailangan-kailangan ng Hinebra San Miguel to control the rebounds. And now there's pressure coming from the defense of Alaska. Dino double team nila and trap. And here's a situation where Noli Loxin might be able to get two points from the line. Yun ang nga nangyari dahil sa... Uh, si Chris Polado. Mabilis na reaction ng uh, Hinebra San Miguel when they saw that Fred Cofield was trapped. They put the ball in the hands of Noli Loxin who, of course, had a mismatch in agility over Chris Polado. Hindi pa rin natin nakikita ang uh, kanilang point guard, yung Hinebra San Miguel, yung kanilang uh, prized point guard na si Val David in this ballgame. Huwag kaya na nga nabanggit mo, kinito siguro dahil Coach Sonny Jaworski is putting premium dun sa kanilang uh, height advantage. Yung hindi din natin masyado nakikita pa yung uh, uh, expected uh, low post maneuvers of Vince Hison when he's matched up against Johnny Abariente. Si Hison ay hindi pa nakaka-attempt ni isa from the field as we see EJ File setting it out. Uh, still scoreless yata ito si EJ File sa lalong ito. Yes. Five-point ball game. Abanti po ang Alaska Milk. Five and a half remaining in the second quarter. The pace has tapered off just a bit dito. Pagkatapos na napaka... Bilis na pace ng first quarter. Another offensive rebound. So, balit may loose ball foul. But a partner, again, the quickness. Huh? Loose ball foul, yes, on Hinebra. Bong Hawkins. Oh, Bong Hawkins. Pangatlo na yan. Oh, Akala ko Hinebra. And of course, getting a round of applause from the Hinebra fans. At hindi akalain ni Bong Hawkins na siya pa natawagan ng foul. That's gonna be a major handicap because big man ito si Bong Hawkins. Not only can he shoot from the outside, but he helps out in the rebounding. Oh, a major development indeed. Tatlong fouls. Ang uh, star power forward, oy. Pangapat na ni Bong Hawkins. And boy, oh boy, things are unraveling quite fast here. Martin, Martin, huh? Jump magaling si, Roach, si Coach Robert Jaworski. Kung nakikita niya that a key player is in foul trouble, he will go to the offensive player to challenge the defense of that player in foul trouble. Alam mo, partner, meron na naka... Ika nga ang tabay doon si Roel Gomez. Napapalta nito si Bong Hawkins. Pero bago siya, ika nga nakapasok, eh nakakuha pa ng foul itong si Hawkins. Pero pare, mahirap na tawag yun, ha? Because uh, could have been a case of a, a charge coming from Wilmer Ong. And a bad pass mula kay Marlo Aquino. Another turnover charge to Hinebra San Miguel. Pero nakikita natin ang lineup ngayon ng uh, Alaska Finito. Napakaliit compared to Hinebra San Miguel. And still, sila pang uh, lumalabang sa larong ito. And they are continuing to use their quickness in the half court. Kita mo, spacing nila. And uh, Jeffrey Carriaz, an open shot. Yung nga lang, hindi pumasok. At tira. And there's Johnny Abarientos coming from nowhere. Binaba ni Marlo Aquino yung bola eh. And Abarientos exactly. quick with his hands. Ano mo, partner, yung sinabi mo, no? yung binaba niya yung bola. When you're a big man and you oh. get the rebound, you put it over your head, not na. underneath. Miski pa anong grip mo niyan, pag nahataw ng, ng sakto yan, tanggal yan eh. Ito, low posting now is Vin Season. Begging for the pass. Strong side, two-man game. Ayun ang double team. Galing kay Chris Bolado. Libre si Noli Loxin. Napasahan siya. Isang fake. Umangat. Walang foul. Loose ball. Natapik ni Marlo Aquino. Napunta kay Johnny Abarientos. Parker, hirap ang Hineba hirap. San Miguel to get the offensive rebounds. Ang ganda ng uh, spacing, positioning. Kahit ng na maliit yan, ha? Yes. Because they're boxing out so well and they're using good positioning to move the big men away from the shaded area of Hineba San Miguel. Ito yung uh, huling slow-mo kung saan sabi natin, sinaw-saw pa, binaba, yun, sa likod, sakto. Yun ang sinasabi natin, yung maliit daw. Ika nga, madaling makapuwing yan. Narito si Ruel Gomez. Pinasa sa gitna, Chris Bolado, Abariento, 7 seconds sa kanilang shot clock. Johnny A pa rin, hindi nila alam. John Chambers, 3 seconds, Chris Bolado, he takes the jumper and gets the basket. Oh, big shot coming from Chris Bolado. 
Ito yung napag-usapan din natin kinito na yung bench ng Alaska Milk will have to come to play. Lalong lalo na in this development na ngayon si Bong Hawkins may apat na personal fouls Partner, na. Doon nakikita natin yung championship experience ng uh, Alaska. No? They did not uh, lose their composure in taking the shot even as time was running out on the shot clock. At ang tumira si Chris Bolado pa who's not known to be a big scorer. Ito si Chris Bolado. Isang fake. Good fake na naman. And again that experience Chris Bolado Faking off the big man, Marlo Aquino. At tatawagan ng unang personal foul si Aquino. Ito yung pass ni uh, Johnny Abarientos. And a beautiful pass coming from Sean Chambers. Again, spotting the open man. And forcing Marlo Aquino to commit the foul. So si Chris Polado playing quality minutes here. Si Chris Polado po, mga kaibigan, ang average lamang na minuto niyan kada laro, 8 minutes per game, only averaging 2 points. Pero dito sa larong ito, may apat na yung malaking Jumbo Bolado. First time that Hinebra is going with less ceiling here, Kinito. Yes, uh, I think uh, Coach Robert Jaworski realizes that uh, the speed factor now, much to the advantage of Alaska. Because uh, ito, kailangan nila ng uh, ball handling uh, skills no, to be able to beat this uh, defense of uh, Alaska coming from the outside wala, wala. And again wala one rebound. attempt for him ever oh. Miguel Sham na po ang abante ng Alaska Milk At hindi na biru-biru to 3 minutes remaining in the second quarter Abarentos bumaybay ng baseline fall away jumper Palobo in and out Fred Cofield with 12 points in this game so far Si Hison ay hindi pa tumitira dito. Kinito, ha? Marlo Aquino po may lalim. Finally gets the basket. And he cuts down the lead of Alaska to seven. Nice baseline move by Marlo Aquino. Bumuka yung depensa ng uh, Alaska that time because anticipation yata ng uh, Alaska ititira sa labas yung Hinebra San Miguel. Nakita natin ang abante ng Alaska Milk pagdating sa steals. And they've done it with their quick lineup. Roel Gomez, the rifleman. Wala. Rebound ni Will Merong. Tumatakbo ngayon si Fred Cofield. Wala siyang uh, nakakibat. Ilabas. Will Merong nasa shaded lane. Offensive foul ang itinawag. Laban kay Will Merong. Pwede mo offensive foul. Pwede din travel in yun. Oh. Alright. 7 point ball game. May timeout po ang Hinebra San Miguel. Seven point lead para sa Alaska Milk under two minutes remaining. Sean Chambers been in attack and defense ni Marlo Aquino at unayang at muli ang abante ng Alaska sa Sham, 40 to 31. Now, si Vince Hiso naman ang nagdadala ng bola for Rina Ebers and Miguel and they probably want Fred Cofield to score a little more. Marlo Aquino, tinayo ni Sean Chambers and he gets the roll. Alam mo, kinito itong uh, Hinebra, maaaring maraming pag-uusapan sa laki ron to. Pagamat ang shooting ni Johnny Abariantos ay only 2 out of 8, si Hawkins 4 fouls, only 3 out of 8, abante ang Alaska ngayon ng pito. And rebounding has been the key in this game. Kanina nga nakita natin si Marlo Aquino, tumira nga sa, sa medium range, pero wala naman siyang kakampi to get a possible offensive rebound. Kung nag-20 siya, wala na naman makukuha ang rebound ng Hinebra sa Miguel. Samantala, naagawan si Lastimosa ni Fred Cofield on display. At may foul na itinawag laban kay Jolas. Second foul na rin yan ni Jojo Lastimosa. Nasa penalty na po ang Alaska Milk. Quick hands coming from Fred Cofield. Ito yung sinasabi natin, a pressure player ng uh, Hinebra San Miguel. And uh, he played two years in Australia. At uh, yung part na nung bagong saltay ko siya, no? si Fred Cofield. Nabasa ko sa column ni ng ating kaibigan, si Rudy Navarro sa tempo. At sabi niya, ito, watch out. Ito si Fred Cofield will explode come championship time. And uh, siguro alam ni uh, kasama Rudy na ito si Fred Cofield is really a tested pro. He has played two years in the NBA, playing for the New York Knicks and the Chicago Bulls, and seven years in the Continental Basketball Association. He has also played on some championship teams. Offensive rebound and put back para kay EJ Filo. Mahanap ng traveling ang Alaska Milk. At ang Alaska lead ay apat na puntos na lamang. Yan ang kailangan na kailangan ni Coach Robert Jaworski. His big men must be more mobile, more aggressive in getting to the offensive boards. Uy, si EJ Filo ngayon ang tumatao kay Sean Chambers. Na, muntik na magawan. Chambers, one fake. Sapal! Nakuha ni EJ Filo sa itaas. Ibila to. JP Gayoso nasa likod si Pochwinho. Vince Hison, laban kay Lastimosa, nilabas kay Gayoso, wala, offensive rebound, Aquino sa ilalim. And let's see, there's a foul, 
No offensive foul ang itinawag laban kay JV Gayoso. Oh, that's a bad call. Oh, that's a bad move on the part ni JV Gayoso. Well, parang nakakuha na ng offensive rebound. Let's take a look at it here. Tinan niyo si Gayoso dyan. Sisingit siya. Kunti tulak. Kunti oh, yes. Yun, oh, oh. I mean, absolutely not necessary. Oh, nakakuha oh. na nga ni Marlo Aquino yung offensive rebound. Eh, ni, JV a little out of control. Muli. Sabi ni Marlo, hindi ko kailangan ng rest back. Samantala, natapik sa likod. Napulot ni Chris Bolado. Maraming pang oras sa kanila. Shot clock. Jun Reyes sa labas. Wala. Cofield with the rebound. A hurried attempt. Nagpanik yung Alaska offense that time. Si nagbabago ang uh, galaw ng Alaska kung wala si Johnny Abarientos. Nagpanik sila in that situation because of Ginebra's uh, very sticky defense. Only that much time remaining. Bago matapos ang ating first half, Fred Cofield pa rin na may dola. May dala ng bola. Fred Cofield, tumira. Wala. Masyado matulis. Natapik. Napunta kay Cofield. He takes the last shot. Yes! And that's what we're talking about about Fred Cofield taking the last shot of the half. Red Cofield, may kabuang 13 puntos dito sa ating first half at ang Alaska down by just, or rather Ginebra down by just